son of a bitch. So messy. I hate that I'm a messy person. Fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do my ultimate favorite video. This is going to be like my December favorite slash everything that I've been loving this whole year because it's the end of the year and I want to wrap it up and show you guys my top, 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 top things that I've loved this year. So, you want to see what I love? Let's get started. I love my Miami palette. I've used this palette so much this year. I mean, mind you, I'm not a person who wears makeup every single day. You know, I kind of wear it more like once a week ish you know maybe some days and like some weeks I may do it every day and then I'll go like two weeks without makeup so even though my palette may not look like I've made much of a dent when you see like compared to other beauty like vloggers and bloggers who really probably go ham on their makeup I'm just not that person I just don't use my makeup that much but I love it especially Sienna that is like ride or die shade right there it's like the perfect warm color and glisten is the perfect glist shade just for those two colors alone I am totally satisfied with this palette and it's one of the best. I strongly recommend getting at least Glisten and Sienna. I think those are like two must-have eyeshadows. I think they would look fantastic on anyone who's like near my complexion. I can't say on all skin tones or anything like that because I haven't seen how they look like on a deeper skin tone or a lighter skin tone. I don't know that information. I would hate to be like, oh, it works for everyone and then it doesn't. So, but if you're like my complexion or even close, I definitely recommend Sienna for the crease and I definitely recommend Glisten for pretty much your lid or anything you would like to use it for. But my ride or die, ride or die, palette has been the Too Faced palette. I think I've talked about this plenty of times. You guys know the deal. This palette is the bomb and it's still available. I would purchase this. I would recommend it to anyone. I would recommend it to my closest of friends, my best friends. If any of them was to go, yo, May, I need a palette. What do you recommend? This would be my option. I would say get on it. I think this eyeshadows are amazing. I think they blend amazingly. I feel like they, and I love the scent of the chocolate. Like, it's not annoying or anything like that, which I was concerned about that because I get uh, migraines all the time, so I didn't want anything that was going to annoy me and, you know, cause me a headache. But it doesn't. It's fantastic. I strongly recommend get your hands on this palette palette i feel like it's always available so there's no reason why you should not own it unless it's money because that joint is expensive so if it if it's that if that's the reason then wait for a coupon save up but whenever you get a chance get your hand on that palette because you will not i i don't think you'll re you'll regret it i i really can't see anyone trying and being like this is some shit like no it's so good like i would really stake a lot to say like someone like i would really be so surprised if someone did not like that palette another ultimate favorite is this creme dior lip balm I have been holding on to this bad boy because it's pricey and I love it but it's getting there it's getting there I'm not gonna be able to really hold on to it too much longer and I will be definitely repurchasing it once I go through it it's the best lip balm ever I don't I just love how it smells I don't have anything negative to say about this product these are my ultimate lip colors that I have been obsessed with it's kind of a problem but my probably my number one favorite lip color this entire year has been NARS Train Blue. I got this last year for Christmas and it is the best thing ever. It's like the perfect deep shade. I don't see anything wrong with this color. I think you can wear it with anything. You can do no wrong when you wear this color. It's beautiful. It's my favorite. I strongly recommend NARS Train Blue if you want like a deep vampy lip and just don't know where to like don't know where to go with that. I recommend this one. I love that it's a matte formula. To me, they're not drying or anything like that, so I love them. Strongly recommend. My favorite like non my favorite like nudish color is definitely Lime Crime Cashmere. I love this color. I know. We've already talked about the lime crime thing, so let's move past that. But I love this lip color. I love all their liquid lipsticks, to be quite honest. But this one is definitely my favorite, like, the grayish nude color. It just looks amazing on me. I feel like it does. I love wearing it. I love mixing it. I love mixing it with Lolita, which I'm wearing right now, which I did. I do like that color. It's just not, like, an ultimate favorite. But I love mixing with Lolita, Bow and Arrow, Stone. I can mix this with like everything and I just feel like it's beautiful. It's definitely up. It's probably one of my favorite lipsticks I've ever, ever, ever had. Like it's catching up with up the amp levels and that's crazy for me. I've talked about this lipstick and I'm going to continue to talk about this lipstick. This is the Kat Von D Bauhaus. I think it's Bauhaus, something like that. Liquid lipstick. This is so 
gorgeous. I've had this for like two years. I know it's probably pushing like time for it to go, but I don't care. It is the perfect everyday not wearing makeup color. Like, you know, I, I think I've said this before, like where people go for reds when they just want to look put together, I go for colors like this. So like this, like this, like this, like this. Like those are the colors I go for. And this is the perfect one. I love how it wears. I think it looks gorgeous. I strongly recommend this lipstick. It's one of my favorites. I wear it more. I might wear this more than, this year I've probably worn this color more than any other one that I own because it's literally the okay I'm not I'm not doing my makeup but I still want to look like I care boom this is it my favorite nude this year has been this daringly nude by the Maybelline matte it's just the perfect nude there's it's just the perfect nude on me it's beautiful it's matte it's comfortable to wear it's the bomb I love that color and it's like a more of a traditional nude it's not a grayish nude it's like a peachy undertone nude which is amazing goes with anything I pretty much do to my face love that color strongly recommend them especially because they're the Maybelline ones are so inexpensive anyway Milani Luminoso you guys already know I'm not really a blush person if I am gonna wear a blush it's definitely gonna be Luminoso I love this color I feel like it goes with anything it is such a flattering shade it doesn't bring out my redness it's literally the perfect blush if you're just dabbling into makeup and want to get into and I mean I want to pick up a like universal blush color that probably will go with anything you wear this is definitely it and it's budget friendly and it's drugstore and it's amazing it's the shit this Broadway strip adhesive best eyelash glue that I've ever used I've tried duo I, I've tried the Revlon ones I've tried plenty of them and guess what this is the one that I feel like makes it work I struggle putting on lashes I am NOT a pro by any means necessary but I love how this helps me apply my lashes I feel like it, the glue gets tacky so quickly and it just makes the process so much easier for me I would have never started wearing lashes as much as I do if it wasn't for this eyelash glue so kudos to Broadway for making the most amazing eyelash glue in my opinion this MAC 224 brush is definitely my favorite makeup brush ever I can do everything with this makeup brush I think I mean my OG shader brush is definitely my favorite brush of all time but I don't even know where that's from so I don't really want to talk about it but this MAC brush is amazing it is the best blending brush Ever. I cannot do my blending without this brush. I mean, I use other brushes, but I really want to look popping. This is the brush I go for. It's the best. And the 217 is creeping up on it, but I think this will always be my favorite blending brush. I love, I love this brush. The Beauty Blender, I mean, there's not really much left to say about this. This is it. Everyone loves it, and you should love it too. The Morphe Buffing Brush. This was my favorite foundation brush this year until my dog destroyed it. I haven't been able to, you know, try it out yet because I am i don't really want to scratch my face with it, but I really want to buy a new one, but I don't because I don't want to spend the money for it because when I purchased this, I bought this in iMat. I bought like five or six brushes. I forgot, or maybe even eight. I bought a bunch of brushes, and it was only like $25, and I was looking at this online the other day, and it's like 15 just for this brush, and shipping is like four dollars so i have to pay like 20 just to get the one brush so it's like not doing it i'll just wait for another imats event but then i might even buy it because i really did love that brush and then i love the cabana bronzer by wet and wild to set my whole face they compare this to the ambient lighting powders i never had the ambient lighting powders but definitely by touching it i would definitely say that this is not as soft those feel really really milky buttery they feel like really nice but for what I use this for, I just set my face with it, so I don't really care about it feeling, like, heavenly. I'd rather my brushes feel really heavenly, and powders just can feel like whatever. You know, that's that's how I see it. The Anastasia Contour Kit. Now, I know I got the Kevin Aquan one. I've been using it, but if I had to really say for this whole year what has been my ride-or-die contour kit, it is this bad boy. I love the Kevin Aquan one. Do not get me wrong. The shade color... For the contour is what I'm wearing today, and I love it. I think it's a beautiful contour kit. But what I love about this one, and I guess it's just because of comfort, and I'm just so used to it. I love how everything, I feel like it's right here. Like the Kevin Aquan one, I feel like it doesn't have a good setting shade. I feel like the shade in there is a little bit too peachy for my under eye area, but I love it for highlighting purposes. So I love, like I said, the highlight and contour in that Kevin Aquan, top notch. But I love this because I can set my concealer set my concealer or cover use this to cover my eyes bronze contour maybe do something with that one over there maybe eyelid you know crease transition shade and then highlighter so this is travel friendly it's amazing I feel like I can do 
if I had to bring one powdered-ish product with me, this would be it because I can contour, do my eyeshadow, do my highlight, set my face, all with this palette. It is definitely beginner friendly. I strongly recommend this one. Like I said, if you already have this and you're kind of looking for something else or looking for a more cooler shade for your contour, that Kevin Aquan one is, like I said, top notch. But if you're a beginner and you just need a basic contour kit to fulfill your basic needs, this is it. It is good. It's the shit. I love it. My powder foundation. This is the one by Flower Beauty. It's amazing I've actually hit pan on it which is amazing like, I've actually pan on it which is crazy for me because I don't think I've ever hit pan on anything in my entire makeup life look at it I've hit pan because that's how much I use this this is for I wear this to work you know anytime I wear makeup to work I'm wearing this it is such a good coverage I mean obviously it's not full coverage or anything like that but it definitely conceals a little bit covers your face makes you look more awake more refreshed definitely repurchasing this once I go through this like the best I haven't tried any other powder foundations but I don't feel like I need to because this is affordable and it works amazingly these eyeliner pens by pixel I mean first off we already know my ultimate eyeliner is the LA color one the matte that joint is life you guys know that I show it in almost every makeup tutorial I don't feel like I don't really need to speak about that anymore because it's my holy grail but I will definitely say these pen liners by pixel were the fucking shit this year like I love them so much I literally cannot get over it like these were made my morning routines going to work so easy like I would just do a quick flick with this pen and this one was like a purple color this one was like a deeper purple color I had a green one and I just feel like it made me look like ready and ready to go without taking a lot of my time and these are so good like I wish they weren't discontinued like I need to find where else they are because they were so cheap they were only a dollar each I mean you can't beat that you cannot beat this kind of quality and with that price and this quality, I, oh my god. The Maybelline, I mean, what? The Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Now, you guys already know I like the Rimmel Accelerator and L'Oreal Voluminous and the L'Oreal Voluminous Fibers. Like, those are my OG faves drugstore. But no mascara has impressed me this year like this Roller Lash. I love this thing. I love how it grips your lashes. It really coats them very evenly no clumps or like very minimal clumps for me at least and it's just a good mascara it's literally the only high-end one that i've ever tried because i have deluxe and deluxe of plenty and this is the only one that i've been like oh my goodness i need this like i don't know how i'm ever gonna do my eyelashes once this is gone because this is my favorite like i am seriously obsessed with this mascara and it looks like i will be paying full price for this once this goes out unless i say it is a hundred point perk I would definitely do that again for it, but if I don't, then I'll, I will definitely spend the money because this is, it's worth it. In my opinion, it's totally worth it. The LA Girl Mascara, I mean eyeliner, you guys already know. For my nails, I have to talk about these products because I don't have them painting right now, but if my nails are painted, this is the routine I have to go through, so I'm just going to run you through it really quickly. I need some Rejuva Coat or Artificial Nails, one of these kind of hardeners. I do my, I paint my nails twice with one of these, and I spritz a little bit of the OPI Rapid Dry, which is, this is my second bottle. I cannot live without this. This is amazing. And then I'll go in with any color nail polish I want. My favorites have been Bikini Sotini by SC and Mint Candy Apple by SC. Kind of any nail polish. This beautiful purple one. I had this on recently. Any nail polish pretty much. I'll put coat that. Spritz it one more time with the wrapper dry. Then I go in it with my favorite top coat ever. This is the SC Gel Setter Top Coat. And then I spritz it again with the rapid dry and my nails, not only do they last me a week, no chipping, and they feel hard, they don't break. I mean, they're going to break a little bit, like I've had a couple break when I do, like I hit it really hard. But my nails in the past, like if I didn't do that method and I just painted them like regular base coat, regular nail polish, regular top coat, and like literally like tap something, it would like snap my nail off. It was really bad. And if I had nothing on my nails, I better not touch anything because they would snap right off. So I am so happy that I discovered this little method because now I can really paint my nails and have fun with them. And I don't have to be scared that they're going to snap right off. Like that has literally changed my nail game like hardcore. My DIY brush rack, definitely fave. I'm not going to lie to you guys, before I discovered my brush rack, I was really terrible about cleaning my brushes because I had nowhere to dry them and I just didn't want them getting wet and getting ruined so I kind of just would do like spritz clean, like spritz it with like alcohol and kind of like 
rub it on a napkin and just be like, okay, that's fine. And I realized that that wasn't fine. And no wonder I was breaking out like crazy because those brushes do hold a lot of bacteria. So you really have to give them deep cleaning. So once I discovered that rack, I really started taking care of my brushes. Definitely started washing them a whole lot more and, you know, properly drying them. And now my brushes are mostly clean. They're way cleaner than they used to be. I mean, I'm not perfect about it not, and I'm not washing like every week or anything like that. I'm still pretty terrible. But I, I mean, I kid you not, I'm not trying to be gross, but like some of my brushes I've had them for years and I never gave them a deep cleaning because I just didn't want to. And at least now I'm at least deep cleaning them like once a month. So hey, that is a whole lot better than what I was doing. I definitely can do better and I will be doing better. I've been like, you know, definitely trying to motivate myself to make sure I keep all my stuff clean. It's a work in progress. I'm a messy person. I can't help it. My ride or die scent is Chance by Chanel. This has been my ride or die scent since I was like 14. I, it's my shit. Like, my mom, I remember when she bought me the first one, and I was, like, so happy. I was like, oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. This is luxurious. It smells amazing. It's the best. I used to get it for Christmas all the time. Then I kind of stopped asking for it because I wanted other things for Christmas. And then I found the hair mist, which I love. I mean... I feel like it's just the same quality as the perfume, but it's a little bit cheaper, and I like that it's safer for your hair, because that's where I like to spray my my perfume anyway. I like it to do, like, more of the head area, because I kind of want to smell it more than I don't... I really don't care if you smell my perfume. I kind of just want to make sure I smell it. I know, really selfish, but it's the truth. So, yeah, I love Chance by Chanel. It's the best perfume ever. I call it, like, my wedding day perfume. Like, that's how much I love it. Like, it's the perfume that I know I'm going to wear my wedding day, because it's the perfect perfume, in my opinion. And that was it. Those are my ultimate favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was my favorite stuff ever. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.